Hi, this is Esma from Enor. Today I'm going to show you how to add a page on DNN. As you can see, we are in the back end of the Enor site, which is a DNN. So the first step is to click on the add icon, which is on the top left of the page. It'll take you to the settings of the page. The first four fields are, are for SEO. For those of you who are familiar for SEO, with search engine optimization, these fields will determine the meta tags. So the page name the page name is important because it will determine how your URL address will look. So we're going to call this test page. And the page title is the title that will show up on the user's, the user's browser bar. So we'll call this Enor's test page. The description is just a brief description about the page. And the keywords uh, are the keywords that uh, you would somebody would search for to look for this particular page. So, you know, test page. Training. The parent, next step is to pick a parent page. Um, a parent page is a page that is on top of this page as on the hierarchy. So, for example, for About Us, About Us is the parent of training and webinars, and training and webinars is the parent of workshops, live webinars, and web library. So for now, I will choose About Us as the parent page of this test page. Right. Oh, oh, and also the child will always be shown underneath the parent page that we choose. So as for the parent, as, as you've seen here, it's always shown underneath it. And as for the parent page that has no page to supersede it, it will be shown at the top of the menu as these ones, Web Analytics, Interactive Marketing, About Us, Contact Us. In this area, this next area, the permissions, you can choose who has who has the ability to view the site. So right now, usually the default is just administrators view and edit, and you can choose whether you want all users, registered users, subscribers, or unauthenticated users to view or edit the page. Right now, since we're just um, editing the page, I'll leave it just under the back uh, in the back end. Okay, next step is advanced settings. Over here there are many options for the page. So there's icon and there's the page skin. The page skin is usually created by a designer and installed by a developer. Uh, there's usually a home page skin and then sub page skins for other pages. This usually determines how the layout of the site will look. Then there's the page containers. This is where you choose the page containers. They are module skins that will determine how your module will look. Uh, this is where the default containers for your module will be. And this over here is disabled. Uh, this will allow you to disable a page which will only be viewed in the back end. Okay, and then last but not least are the links. So you can choose your page to be linked to another URL or another page on your site or a file or picture on your site. So after you've done after you're done modifying all your details, you would click on update. And once update you'll be able to see test page here under about us. And that's how you create a page. Thank you.